Today is the third Sunday of Advent. Our Gospel text is taken from the beginning of John's Gospel, chapter 1, verses 6 through 8, 19 through 20. There was a man sent by God. The word sent is worth our reflecting. It refers here to John the Baptist, but it also implies something about us. We are sent by God. It's not an accident that you and I exist. We are here because God intended it that way. It will come as no surprise if I suggest to you that that's not what everybody in our culture believes. In fact, probably the more pervasive belief is something else. Let's reflect on that. There was a pop group in the 1960s and 70s called The Doors. In 1971, they had a hit called Riders on the Storm. Listen to the opening words of that song. Riders on the storm, riders on the storm. In this house we're born. Into this world we are thrown, like a dog without a bone. Now, almost certainly, the doors have taken this idea of being thrown into the world from the famous German philosopher, Martin Heidegger. One scholar describes Heidegger's thought as follows. None of us is the ground of his or her own existence. Instead, we are thrown into the world, and this thrownness is something that cannot be undone. Now, an obvious reading of Heidegger would say, well, we didn't choose to be born. We find ourselves here, and it's up to us to make the best of it. It seems to me to be a reasonable claim. But I think it would also be reasonable to say that the doors take a different interpretation of Heidegger. For them, there's an emphasis on the randomness of it all, the pointlessness, the lack of purpose. You just turned up. Make something of it, because you're not given any meaning. You're not given any purpose. It seems to me that that pervades our culture. The word thrown has replaced the word sent. Now, John's words remind us of the beautiful words of Isaiah. Listen to them again from chapter 52 of Isaiah, verses 7 through 8. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring tidings, good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, your God reigns. John's words are beautiful words. A man sent by God, reminding us that we are sent by God, all of us. They speak to our hearts about who and what we are. They remind us not only of why we exist, but why anything exists at all. Individually and together, we are part of a world of meaning and purpose. That meaning and purpose originates in love. We exist because love, you can spell love here with a capital L. We exist because love brought us into being. Love is with us. Love supports us. Love surrounds us. Love leads us. Love protects us. Love seeks to enter the world through us. That is good news. We are enabled to live within a world of meaning and purpose. We are part of a meaningful and purposeful reality. Now, we need to also recognize that sometimes 
the world may not seem purposeful or meaningful to us, it may even seem absurd. It may have lost its purpose, lost its meaning. One good reason, quite apart from just the value in itself, but one good reason of immersing ourselves in God through personal prayer, through liturgy, gathering around the table of the Lord, breaking bread, sharing the cup, and living a life of loving action, one good reason for all this is we are sustained in the dark times. We're not left to our own willpower. We know we are loved by God, even if that seems remote and even if we don't feel it anymore. Just because I don't think the good news is good anymore doesn't mean it is not good news. The good news doesn't go away because I don't feel it. <laughs>